Hello and welcome to this Google Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll analyze relative humidity, RH, using ERA-5 land hourly climate data over a region in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia for the month of January 2025. Let's get started step by step. Step 1, define the area of interest, AOI. First, we load our area of interest a custom boundary from our Earth Engine assets. We then center the map over the region using map.centerobject, OWI, 8. This ensures we're zoomed in for visual clarity. Step 2, load ERA-5 land hourly climate data. Next, we load the ERA-5 land hourly image collection, filtering it by date and by our AOI. The selected time period is January 1st to January 10th, 2024. Step 3. Compute Relative Humidity To compute RH, we define a custom function. We extract temperature and dew point in degrees Celsius, then apply the Magnus formula to calculate RH. This function is applied across all images in the collection. Step 4. Generate a time series chart We now create a time series chart showing daily average relative humidity over the selected period. We use the mean reducer and set chart options with clear titles, axis labels, and styling. This is printed in the console using Print Chart. It's an excellent way to observe daily RH variation. Step 5. Visualize the latest RH map. We then extract the latest image from the RH collection, and display it on the map using a custom color palette. The RH values range from 0 to 100%, visualized in 10 color-coded classes, making interpretation intuitive. Step 6. Add a dynamic legend. To help interpret the map, we add a custom UI legend panel. Each color box is matched with a percentage range, from 0 to 10% up to 91 to 100%. This legend appears at the bottom left of the map for better readability. With just a few lines of GEE code, we visualized hourly climate data from ERA-5 land, computed relative humidity, a clean time series chart, and a color-coded RH map with a legend. This type of analysis is crucial for climate monitoring, agriculture, and hydrological research. For example, RH affects crop growth, disease spread, irrigation needs, and helps in assessing drought or flood risks. Understanding RH trends can support early warning systems and improve climate resilience strategies. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with more GEE tutorials. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.